first day of secondary school and um, I was kind of different in the way that I was surrounded by I coming in with my father I was working here like and uh, I think the biggest feeling I can remember was uh, being worried about uh, getting slagged about my dad or whether I was going to be in his class or anything like that and uh, um, lo and behold I went through six years and never been in the class with him so I never had to worry about it. <laughs> The funniest thing that happened to me in St. Kieran's was when all the sixth years dressed up on the last day and especially my brother, he, he um, did a gym class with all the sixth years out in the yard and dressed up as Wonder Woman then to finish off the day he went in and impersonated my father who's the English teacher and my father always quotes on Shakespeare and always wears the same jumper and Jack went in um, wearing his jumper and quoting on Shakespeare. Uh, the best thing about St. Kieran's College is definitely the hurling. Uh, before I came in here you heard about some of the great hurlers that went before us like Tommy Walsh, Henry Shefflin, Eddie Kerr, all those lads and when you come in here like if you get the chance to take uh, take the black and white jersey and wear it it's a great honour. Uh, definitely coming in here like you get to play against and with some of the best lads in the county maybe even the country like so to get a chance to play with those boys is just amazing and I know myself like coming in didn't make it in first year which was just just an awful feeling but came back then, tried harder, worked harder on my game and just came back and made it in second year and I just tell everyone if you don't make it just drive it on, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'd probably give my brother advice for saying stop hurling like it's, it's not that great at it, um, it's pretty low standard stuff, his first touch is diabolical. Um, I don't. I think he should just concentrate on studying in school. Like he's he's not that great at. It. I'm only joking. I I'd be happy if I was as good as him one day. If I had a piece of advice now for Damien, it'd probably be keep the head down now and keep quiet. Just work hard now in school and don't be messing around now. Don't be making the mistakes I did. Uh, advice I give for my brother is like he should have done a bit more work coming up to the leaving. Like he's doing a bit now, though, so he's grand. But he should have done more. The funniest thing for me anyway was. During geography, Miss Warner was getting on to me the whole time. She said, well, if you're so great, would you get up and teach a class? So I did anyway, and got through the whole 40 minutes anyway. Everyone's questions were satisfied, so Miss Warner looking there now, she'd want to watch out for her job now in the future. Um, I think the funniest thing I had to do this year was um, I impersonated a girl's voice in English to try and get money off Mr. O'Neill. Um, I succeeded in my attempt and had four euro in my pocket. And in five years' time, um, well, the dream is to go to UL and study psychology, so hopefully in five years' time I'll be coming out with a degree in psychology. Um, but more importantly, I can see myself uh, coming home and slagging my younger brother who will be getting ready to sit his leave and start around this time as well, so that's exactly where I see myself in six years' time. The best thing about St. Kieran's is probably all the memories you'll have coming out of it. One thing I'll say is I'll never forget the lads that I was with, and there was a hundred of us in the year and you'll never forget any of them.